Well, it's actually the next day. I was going to just make a separate video, and I might still do that, but I don't know. One fish just didn't seem like enough to make a video out of. So I'm up here on Parksville Lake. Um, I'm going to do some bank fishing, just really just around this one side of this slough because I have more access to the water on that side. But we're getting close to spawning season. Um, parts of Tennessee have probably already gone through it, but I'm getting close to spawning season. So I'm gonna hit the back of some of these sloughs and see if I can find any sort of bass. The water is a little bit murky, so who knows what's going on there. So let's get to it. All right, I'm definitely not throwing a crankbait right here because I've seen this when this was really, really far down. And I really don't feel like losing a crankbait that I haven't even caught a fish on yet. This is going to be real fun casting in here because I don't have a lot of room. And I would honestly rather be throwing this fluke or this uh, six cents flush on my medium rod. But. I got a crankbait on my medium rod. Ooh, need to tune that reel just a smidge. I'm only going to give this a couple of casts. And this little slough just feeds into the lake right down there. So we're going to go down to that about that far and probably just turn around. It's like, ooh, that drag is loose. I honestly kind of feel like a lipless or something. It'll make more sense in this. Because down toward the dam, it's uh, quite a bit clearer. All right, I just got a cheap little Arky jig tied on, which is not really the jig that I wanted but it was the first jig I saw that would make sense on this watercolor I'll give her a couple all right well broke off that little cheap jig and what sucks is I can see it down there attached to the tree that I broke it on Are you, mm, well, I'd be so mad. I seen the hook wrap around the 
the um, limb that I got my jig over. But anyway, I should have tuned that up for this jig because this jig is much heavier than that little dinky um, Arky jig. This is a six cents half ounce. Has to be half ounce because I don't have any uh, hybrid jigs that are heavier than that. Huge one too. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That could quite possibly. Whoa, that's a lot of hooks. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Don't do that. That could possibly be my new PB. Now I'll see if I can get up here without breaking my damn leg. Well, y'all, I don't know if my GoPro picked it up, but just got this hog. 5.7, let's get her back. Well, I really, really hope that my camera picked that up, at least to where I can you know, screen record it, but did not expect it whatsoever. But new PB largemouth came to roughly five and a half pounds. Uh, I think this is a six cents Cloud9 C10, I believe. C10 or C15, I can't remember. And I believe that's Rambo Red or some other odd crawl color they have. But I'm going to give her a few more minutes. Um, definitely want to see if I can link my camera up to my phone and see if that footage recorded or not. I really hope it did. So, if it did, y'all seeing it. Well, y'all, that wasn't a bad two and a half, three hours after work. Just fishing this one slough. Like, I wanted to come up here and check this slough out and to see you know if anything was in there the water was a little bit dirtier than what i was expecting but we made it work now i'm by no stretch of imagination a professional angler of any kind i just have a good understanding of what to do what to use and when um another thing is watching tactical bass and I've been watching them for years and I've learned a ton from them about bass fishing. Also growing up, you know, watching in fishermen and stuff like that. But yeah, this time of year around spring, you know, bass are moving up shallow to start spawning um, back into these bays and creeks and stuff like that. And orange and reddish color baits are working pretty well. Uh, unfortunately lost the crankbait that I caught that bass on but that just gives me a reason to buy another one I'm gonna be honest I might buy two of them I don't know anyway I'm gonna get home get this video and yesterday's video edited um, yeah hope you liked the video thanks for watching we'll see you next time